Hi, I'm Lauren. And this is Katie. We're going to talk to you about Proposition 24. You'll see it on your ballot as Amends Consumer Privacy Laws. It's an initiative statute. What's the question behind Proposition 24? Should the California Consumer Privacy Act of 2018 be amended to expand consumer privacy protections and create a new enforcement arm? How does the Consumer Privacy Act currently work? Current law gives consumers a heads up regarding data that is being collected on them. Certain businesses must notify consumers that they are collecting data. What businesses are we talking about, Katie? Businesses are qualified by their annual revenue and whether they buy, sell, or share data. Affected companies must comply with personal data privacy rights and not treat customers differently for declining to have their data sold. Fines are associated for each violation of all of these requirements. What does Prop 24 propose? Prop 24 would provide consumers even more visibility and control over attempts to collect data on them. Under the new provisions, consumers would be able to request that businesses not share consumer personal info and opt out of the collection of sensitive personal info used or disclosed for advertising or marketing. Businesses would be required to correct consumers' personal info upon request. Does Prop 24 address minors? Yes, businesses would also have to get permission to collect information from consumers under 16 years of age and from parents or guardians if the consumer is under 13 years of age. Is there anything else, Katie? Yes, Prop 24 would create a new state agency to enforce and implement consumer privacy laws and impose administrative fines. Well, what's the, what's the fiscal effect? According to the Legislative Analyst's Office, the fiscal effect of Prop 24 would increase annual state costs by at least $10 million, but enforcement is unlikely to exceed the low tens of millions of dollars. Plus, some costs would be offset by penalties for violating these laws. What do supporters say? Well, supporters say Prop 24 would prevent businesses from using or sharing sensitive data about your health, finances, race, ethnicity, and precise location. Also, Alistair McTaggart, a San Francisco-based real estate developer who filed this ballot initiative, says current laws are a great baseline, but I think there are additional rights that Californians deserve. How about the opponents? What do they say? They say Prop 24 puts the burden on consumers to opt out of countless intrusive data collection practices, one by one, that companies are currently barred from by default. They also say hidden economic discrimination persists. People without money to spend cannot pay for loyalty programs and can expect worse connections, slower downloads, and more pop-up ads. Hmm. In summary then, a Yes vote means you support this ballot initiative to expand the state's consumer data privacy laws and create a new privacy protection agency to enforce those laws. A no vote means you want to uphold the current state's data privacy laws. Thank you, Katie. My pleasure, Lauren.